day, new money making day and new day to fix some things at, at the Volvo. I don't know what I'm going to fix today because yesterday I was just mopping pretty much the whole day so we will see we will see but first seatbelt which after we can put this in the first and go to the job and if you are asking about the pressure how has it been it has been very well behaving at least for now and yeah it's a somewhat a good car so that's the place and there I have been and this area right here uh, is called Tahtariso in the other words a place where there's a ton of cars, like actually a lot, even abandoned ones, and I believe that one is in use. And this one has come from New York. Something like that. But nothing too big, nothing too small. Oh my shit, a leg day. It has been a little bit too long a bar of a bars on the leg day. Oh yeah. Now I'm the at the what you call this? Leg press, but it isn't the actual leg press, it's just on tracks. So, yeah, I gotta do a couple of finishing sets on this and then uh, these, which after the left door will be over. And the clock is very much. Time to go home, eat some food, then probably go to sleep. I don't know what else to do. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll start to edit this, but I don't have any idea how much the clock what is. Last time I saw the clock was at the leg press. So yeah, now I need to just go home. So, 
What makes a good filmmaker? It is to have a good story, a good quality footage in a big amount of quantity and time. Uh, time plays a huge role because if you don't have much time, uh, the quality will suffer. And if you have more time, you can make better quality, but then the quantity wouldn't be as big. So you cannot make as much. So you need to balance these things out. And the first thing is the good story. So if your video doesn't have a good story, good something that a viewer would enjoy to watch, like who is going to watch it? Like if you don't have anything to say, you're just shooting things, then it isn't a interesting video. So good story is really important good quality video so it's watchable like you can get really good footage out of a phone nowadays or out of a, a pocket camera and then you can make a lot of quantity if you have the time and time is the thing that I'm gonna today talk about a little bit more so time Without this thing, a SD card adapter, and yeah, my main computer doesn't have a SD card slot. I make that clear. So I need this thing, and this is from Anchor, a SD card adapter for a full-sized and the micro SD card, and it has. USB A end and in the other end it has USB C. This thing isn't like a storage stick that you it has its own memory. It needs a SD card to be plugged in so it would work as a storage card. So you need always external storage to make this a storage card. And because you can have it as a storage card, you as well can have another one. So you just plug the micro SD card as well. Now you have the full sized and the micro SD card in one place in one go to be straight uploaded to the computer. Like right away, you can have them both at the same time be downloaded to your computer. And for example, I shoot many things on the pocket cap and for and now I'm shooting on the phone. So I have two places where I have footage, which means I need to somehow get the footage from the phone to the and from the pocket cap. And this helps because I have this SD card, this SD card originates from the camera so all the footage from the camera you are seeing is on here this 16 gigabyte SD card so all the footage from the camera from this thing is on here then to take the footage from the phone to the SD card as well I just plug this thing in here plug the USB-C end on, into my phone, go to the files app on my phone, drag the video files to the SD card, then drop them there, and then I'll have the files in here. Then if I have like drone footage that I wish I could have in this video as well, but, 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 the DJ doesn't sell me these DJ Spark Flight Intelligent batteries. I will be uh, talking about 
this situation more in a future video but today we are talking about this so I can have a drone SD card the SD card from the drone the micro one plug that as as well to here then I have all the footage the phone and the pocket camera footage on this one and the camera footage on the micro SD card which means now I just I just plug this oh this thing in here and now I have the cannon and the drone in one place so now I can upload the cameras the phones and the drones footage at the same time into one place so that saves me a lot of time I just don't need to hassle around with the SD card and all of that it just makes life easier to make videos to YouTube so this is the end for this vlog vlog 16 I believe so thank you for watching see you in the next one peace out